Welcome back to another episode of Cold Bores and Coffee. This is a custom rifle we built for a client here at DI Precision. This is a lightweight hunting rifle chambered in 7SS, also known as a 7 Sherman Short. It shoots a 168 grain Burger hunting bullet. It's the classic hunter right at 2,900 feet per second. It's got a 24 inch Bart line carbon barrel. It's got a Manners carbon fiber stock EH1A, if I uh, recall correctly. It's got an impact 737 short action with a magnum bolt face. It's sporting a Trigger Tech diamond trigger. And it's got a Leopold Mark V, three and a half to 18. I did all the load development and tuning on this rifle, and I'm here to tell you what, this thing is an absolute hammer for a hunting rifle. So I just ground up that uh, bag of coffee in the coffee grinder and I'm telling you what, that stuff smells amazing. So I cannot wait to try this stuff. Hmm, man that smells good. Been too long since an episode of Cold Bores and Coffee. We have a humongous pacing Great Dane coming to join us today. This is Tegan, our Great Dane. And uh, But anyways, today we're doing Bag of Coffee. Um, this is their whole bean, dark roast. And as y'all saw, I ground it up on that uh, Krups bean grinder. And we have a cup poured here, and I'm about to give you the first taste. So Lauren, as everyone probably knows, is not the biggest fan of coffee. So we ordered some of this Miracle Fruit and uh, from Muna, I'm probably butchering that name, but anyways, it's a tablet that you dissolve on your tongue. It will actually completely change the way your taste buds work. So we tried it the other day and we did what, mustard? Um, we did some sour candy, which I do not like sour stuff. And it wasn't even remotely sour. like. Completely took all the sour and bitterness out of it. And then, like I said, the mustard, it went from, of course, tasting like mustard to like like a funnel cake flavor to me. And To me, it tasted like a sour pickle. Yeah, so it, it, <laughs> it's different on everybody on how it works. Allegedly, it works on spicy food also, so you can handle uh, spicier foods. Um, I used to like spicy foods, but um, my body does not anymore. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna give this stuff my first sip here and uh, tell you what I think. So it has a phenomenal smell. Uh, when I ground it up, the aroma was just immediately pleasant and um, didn't have any overwhelming bitter smell. Uh, not too earthy, but at the same time, it's not too weak, so. Smells great, it's brewed. I've let it cool down probably to about 190 degrees or so here. So here goes the first sip. Oh yeah, that's strong stuff right there. <clears throat> so it's, of course it's a dark roast, so it's gonna have strong flavor, but um, it doesn't have any of the uh, 
the overwhelming twang of like uh, Colombian would uh, hit you on the back of the tongue. It's unbelievably smooth, like unbelievably smooth. There is no bite. Uh, it's got a lot of body to it, which I like a lot of body. I brew my coffee extremely strong to begin with. So, um, mm. I don't really taste too much chocolatey flavor, but it almost has a tiny bit of dark chocolate on the very uh, back of your tongue. Mm. It's extremely good though. Um, two thumbs up. Definitely go give uh, Bag of Coffee a, a try and um, we'll see what Lauren thinks here. Is yeah. your, is you your wanna, tablet dissolved? You wanna, oh yeah. I I'm also, I'm going to put this in and uh, see what it does and see what it it does doesn't have a flavor stuff. profile with me and coffee. So, all right. So I just put one of these Miracle Fruit uh, tabs in my mouth here. Mine immediately, should be yeah, yours ready. should be kicking in. But immediately, this tablet tasted different than when we had it the other day. So this is gonna be interesting. Boy, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, that's freshly brewed hot coffee. That's what it does. I mean, it's still bitter to me. It's very strong. Very, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe coffee and black. Uh, <laughs> strong and black, strong. yes. Exactly how you want it. <laughs> I didn't get a whole lot in there. I don't know if it's, it's hard to tell if it, I'm just not a coffee fan. <laughs> if that made a difference for me or not. Um, I think the temperature got me the most. Yeah, you, you need to learn how to slurp. Felt miserably. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a hard pour right there, actually. Uh, that's hard for you to describe. You're definitely gonna have to see what difference it does for you. Yeah. So mine's just about dissolved here. <laughs> no offense, <laughs> Bag of Coffee. She does this to everyone. Don't worry. Yep. All right, here we go with the um, Miracle Fruit. All right, fully dissolved. Here we go. I'm gonna need to do it next time. Not smelling it first. I think that'll make a big difference. Oh, that made it worse. Like, ooh, Miracle Fruit did not help coffee at all. <laughs> like, it made it nothing but bitter, actually. Like, it didn't have any bitterness before. Bitter. But now, I mean, that, like, ooh, it almost makes it, like, skunky tasting. That's, Good thing is, is this not, only lasts for like a few minutes. Yeah, that it only lasts maybe <laughs> ten minutes or so. But that, I don't know why they make it. I guess it's just oh, for fun. It, or, it, it's yeah. almost like an astringent. It pulls all the moisture out of your tongue as soon as that coffee hit it. I mean, teeth feel really dry. But um, I'll go back for some more because I'm a glutton. So it says turn sour or metallic tastes to sweet and flavorful. Also helps produce boost saliva production for ease of swallowing. That actually makes me want to keep from swallowing this stuff, which... So, maybe because it's not sour or metallic, that's why it's not really working. Maybe so, but that's not good. It was good for like, the sour candy, but yeah, so not it, for coffee. It amplified, a, I would say it amplified bitterness by like tenfold. So, it, it, it does not help coffee. So, do not try coffee with Miracle Fruit. No, it was still a fun experiment, though. Yeah, <laughs> good experiment. We I jumped on that grenade for everybody. Um, but, uh, Lord have mercy, that is not good with... Miracle Fruit, but that's phenomenal coffee though before I had it with Miracle Fruit. Like, really, really good. So, um, everybody go give a bag of coffee a, a try. Um, help support them. Yep, they're veteran owned. They're, yeah, they're veteran owned. <laughs> um, every, every coffee we're doing here, we're trying to get, they're either uh, veteran owned or they're pro Second Amendment. So, Go give them a try, and uh, you will not be disappointed. This would be a great everyday morning coffee. Like, make this one your routine. So, all right. Thanks for everybody watching, and uh, let's go hit a cold bore. All right. We are set up for our cold bore here. We are at 500 yards, the DI Precision Tuning Range. Um, this is going to be a pretty representative distance for this gentleman's maximum effective range. So, that car go by there. Um, 
600 yards is about as comfortable as he feels shooting, even though this thing's easily capable of taking something at well over a thousand yards. Uh, we're going to lay down here and shoot at our uh, target at 500 yards. So here we go. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Thought there was going to be a tenth of a right wind, but there was none at all. All right. Thanks for watching Cold Boards and Coffee, everybody.